guys, we're here at Costco and we're gonna check out the Costco deals and sales and what's new at Costco, let's go. New item alert, I think one of you guys actually pointed out the authentic Asia shrimp wonton tom yum soup, $13.99. One of you guys commented, reveal this for us. I was like, okay, let me go find it. Six individual bowls of five wonton per bowl to microwave three minutes, $14. So it equals to about $2.50 per bowl. So that's like 50 cents per wonton. That's some quick math right there, right? Um, I don't see the ingredients. I can't find the ingredients. It's pretty easy. It doesn't have a lot of protein, but where are the ingredients at? They're so sneaky with ingredients. So it does have fully refined soybean oil. Oh, Tom Yum Soup has palm oil. Oh no. Hydrogenated coconut oil. Oh no. Okay, this is definitely not Miss Ming approved. I'm only gonna buy it to try for you guys to do a taste test. I probably won't be repurchasing it because it's not clean at all. It has palm oil, which is not good. Hydrogenated coconut oil is basically trans fat. And soybean oil is highly inflammatory. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ruining the appetite for you, but I will still try for you guys to see if it actually tastes good. So definitely deserve a thumbs up and subscribe right there. Be the little rat lap rats for you guys. Does it taste good? We'll try it out. Ooh, Korean corn dog in Costco from the brand Pomo One. This is the Pomo One crispy potato corn dogs. I've tried different varieties of this. We're gonna try this out. Ten sixty nine. It's so much cheaper. It's so much bigger bag. It has eight counts. It's so much cheaper from Costco compared to like H Mart or other grocery store. The other grocery store is like $10 for like five or six. Let me warn you, the ingredients are not the cleanest. It has soy and oil in all of these Asian items. I don't know why. It's like a Korean street food. It has potatoes on the outside and tender mozzarella cheese on the inside. We're gonna actually taste it out. Test it out. If it's good, it's also shareable. It's individually packed in there. So I will probably just do one or two at home to try it out and then share it with friends and family. Yeah, $10.69 for the whole bag and there are eight of them. Ebigo also has the vegetable spring rolls, $9.99. Comment down below if you found it in your Costco. I think some long, long time ago, I probably have tried it. It was okay, just put it in the air fryer. It's just vegetable, there's no meat in there. It's just for the crunchiness. If you love spring rolls, this is a good buy, but comment down below if you like it. Thank you. Kirkland tempura shrimp, let's do the taste test, $17.99. Alright guys, let's try this tempura shrimp. Let's see the middle. Oh, this is what the shrimp looks like. Let's take a bite. Let me be honest, it tastes pretty good, but look at the breading to meat ratio. There's so much breading compared to the actual shrimp. I probably wouldn't buy it. What do you guys think? It actually tastes pretty good with the sauce. Not the best deal though. Right, there's some vegan beef burger patty options. We have the Beyond Burger plant-based patties at $15.49. It has a star. Once it sells out, it will not come back. And we have the Donley Farms Organic Black Bean Burgers. It's actually on sale, $3.50 off right now, $10.49. The sale ends January 29th. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Let's first take a look at the Beyond Burger. Ooh. So it's pea protein. Pea protein is not the highest quality of protein. It has expeller pressed canola oil. It's highly inflammatory, high in omega-6, refined coconut oil, which is not too bad. Rice protein, not too bad. Natural flavors. What goes in the natural flavors? We don't know. Uh, potato protein, apple extract. It does have added like vitamin Bs and stuff. I don't think it's necessary to put a canola oil in there. I think they're just trying to save money. I wish they just put coconut oil. 35% less saturated fat. So research has shown that saturated fat is not necessarily bad. Well, you probably don't want to overconsume it, but it's not necessarily bad for you. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. So this is the Chipotle black bean burger. So it's actually made with black beans, I believe. It says organic black beans, which is really good. I like black beans. It has very high in nutrients. It has organic sweet corn, organic soybean oil, which is high in omega-6, highly inflammatory. So not my favorite thing either. I mean, it's not bad if you eat it once in a while. It's not like you can't eat those. It's just overconsumption of omega-6 is bad. Oh my gosh, finally the roasted seaweed sandwich is on sale, $2.40 off. I've waited, I've waited and waited. Now finally it's $2.40 off. The sale ends February 4th. This is my favorite, favorite snack. It has 
it's basically looks like this and it's individually packaged it has seaweed on top in the middle it has like little brown rice sesame seeds is crunchy it's flavorful it's umami flavor from the sea we love that i'm gonna stock up finally it's on sale i've been waiting for it to be go on sale for a whole year i used to bet like three bags on the original price and it, my wallet just hurts all right guys the portuguese egg tart is back it's ten dollars not on sale but it has ten dollars for 12 egg tarts which is not too bad i think some of you guys commented and that it actually tastes really good that the crust is very flaky and the inside is sweet and creamy which is good but the ingredients are not very clean it has palm fat and sunflower oil in there since i already bought a bunch of stuff that's not super healthy to do the taste test i'm gonna skip this item this time but according to you guys it actually tastes pretty good it's just not super clean ingredients costco has the best price for organic pasture raised eggs these are the best quality eggs it's only eight dollars at our normal grocery store eight dollars is only for like one dozen but this is like two dozens always get the chicken tortilla soup from kirkland costco brand is the best $8.99, really good price for toast. So the Pomo One Teriyaki Stir Fry Udon is on sale. Oh my gosh, this one, it's open. It's been happening at Costco, like things are opening like this. Look, all of this are open? That's crazy. So this is a Pomo One Teriyaki Stir Fry Udon, $2.60 off right now, $6. It's pretty good flavor. It, the new Udon noodle is real Udon noodles. It's a thick, really good texture and the seasoning is from packets and then the vegetable topping is dry vegetables and then some of you guys commented i didn't eat the dry vegetable toppings i'm like those are just for decorations no one eats it i will just stir fry it with other things and also it's not super clean ingredients it tastes good but it requires to be doctor up a little bit six dollars for four it's not bad at all it's not bad but you need to add protein in there you need to add your own vegetables in there how to recommend to put some like chicken to make teriyaki chicken with it or make some like carrots or like peppers as a vegetables oh my gosh i just bought this item and ate it and it's on sale four dollars off my husband actually cooked it i was gonna make a dedicated review video but my husband already made it so i couldn't film duh by the time i got home he's like we're eating beef and broccoli so it was four dollars off so the original price is 16.99 it's not worth it let me tell you it's not worth 16.99 but not enough broccoli in my opinion so not worth 16.99 but after it's on sale it's 13 dollars it's worth 13 dollars so don't buy a full price i was the dummy who bought it full price it doesn't taste bad at all it just tastes normal beef and broccoli but i would rather go to a chinese restaurant and eat real beef and broccoli yes this is 100 percent grass-fed beef that's the only good thing about it but the texture of it it's actually not that great i want to say this item is like 7.5 it tastes good but i would add some fresh broccoli to it it's super salty if you use the whole sauce packet my husband used the, all the sauce and it was too salty for me the beef is a little bit too, towards the chewy side it's a sirloin 100 percent grass fat beef is pretty good but is it worth 16.99 $17 no is it worth $13 yes this is enough for two people so $13 for two people is okay versus $17 for two I might as well just go to a place to eat lunch special this is my review for this i 7.5 on sale the sale ends February 11th so I've made a dedicated review of this sesame ginger chicken crumbles it actually tastes really good it has mandu sauce in there flavored seasoned chicken yes you don't have to put the sauce when i put the sauce it's too salty it's fully cooked it's really good price 13.99 and really good ingredients it has a ton of food like a ton of food this is really good value chicken is seasoned really really well very tender it's in the crumbles you can make lettuce wrap all right guys there's a new item it's from Kevin's natural foods and this is your paleo thai cell coconut chicken soup 10.99 so previously i actually tried the thai cell coconut chicken it tastes pretty good but this one is the soup version which i didn't try so the ingredients of kevin's natural foods are usually pretty good so it's coconut milk chicken cauliflower and those vegetables and stuff coconut sugar 
Like this is actually pretty good ingredients, except for at the end it has like the Zen Sum Gum as a stabilizer. Only two grams of added sugar. This is the lowest amount of sugar that you can get from any of these coconut chi coconut chicken soup. Because coconut chicken soup, it's like they actually put a lot of sugar in there. So this is pretty good item if you are worried about sugar intake. I'm gonna grab organic butternut squash. $4.99. This organic cauliflower $5.99. I'm gonna get the organic Brussels sprouts $6.99. Organic baby bella mushroom $5.69. All of the Asian pastries for the year of dragons are here. All of them are for the year of dragons. Comment down below if you found this from your Costco. They're not on sale though. I'm hoping they go on sale one time. But the year of dragon, the Chinese New Year is February 10th. The boba mochi is on sale $2 off right now, $7. I probably wouldn't buy the whole huge pack, but somebody actually brought it to the potluck ones and it tastes really good. $7 after the sale, the deal ends February 11th. In my last Costco taste test haul, I actually tasted this item. It actually tastes really good. It has two flavors. Strawberry cream and mixed berry vanilla. I love it. The Chobani complete 20 grams of protein. $15 for 8 bottles. So about $2 per bottle. It truly does only have natural ingredients. Ingredients are really, really clean. And the most important part is it tastes good. It does have sugar, but there's no added sugar. The sugar is from the juice. So it's actually pretty good. 20 grams of protein in a yogurt drink. And it tastes so good with probiotics and life cultures in this. It has 6 life and active cultures repurchase so if you haven't checked out my previous costco taste test haul make sure you check it out my husband loves this coconut water it's a kirkland organic coconut water it's from the fridge 12 dollars for six so two dollars each it's organic it tastes super good i'll get this one it has like electrolytes in it coconut sugar coconut water if you're a hardcore health nuts you can also get this suja organic immunity defense shot turmeric and probiotic it's pretty clean ingredients it's Turmeric is really good for your anti-inflammatory, but it tastes bad. It doesn't taste good. So $15. Oh, they're selling the Rails Alfredo sauce here. It's $2.90 right now, $8.59. The sale ends January 28th. Have you guys tried this? So the ingredients it has cream, water, butter. The butter has a little natural flavor in it in there. That's okay. Egg yolk and stuff. The only thing at the end it has like zen some gum, which is not the best as a food additives um, to stabilize the food. But other than that, that's not too bad. It doesn't have canola oil or anything. But I've never tried the real self burrito sauce. Do you guys like it? Have you tried it? Comment down below. The udon is on sale. This one, it's not clean ingredients, but it actually tastes pretty good. It has bowls in there. So four minutes, it has six bowls in there. I actually did a dedicated review video. It tastes pretty good. It's $4 off right now, $15. It tastes pretty good, but it's not clean ingredient. Ooh, the cheese crunch is on sale. Three dollars off, six eighty nine. The sale ends February eleventh. February eleventh. This is only seven dollars. I'm gonna buy this for Brandon. Simply grated and baked. It has really clean ingredients. Just the milk and cheese culture, salt, enzymes. That's it. Super low in carbs, high in protein, and fat. So I love that. I'm gonna buy this. Seven dollars. Due in February 11th. If you like cooking, my Costco also sells the Kirkland Organic Vanilla Beans. There are 10 of these in these tubes. Um, $16.99 has a little star. One down below if you found it in your Costco. And do you use it? And how do you use it? I've actually never used like real vanilla beans in the past because I don't bake a lot. So there's this new drink called the Happy Water. Eight Pure Punch, eight Sunny Strawberry Kiwi, eight Apple Joy, eight Grape Divine. Interesting. So that's a lot. It's $15. 32 count. Look, it has like no calories, no sugar. The ingredients, they use monk fruit and stevia, which is fine. But they just put a bunch of like vegetable added for color, natural flavors. It's just a bunch of flavoring. It's a bunch of flavoring water. Have you guys tried this? It's $15 just for water with flavoring. That's kind of expensive. Comment down below if you tried it and do you think it's worth it. it Oh no, the Starbucks Hot Cocoa has a star now. It's not on sale, $12.49, but it has a star one, which means it won't come back. This is actually really good hot cocoa drinks, even though it has a ton of sugar. 
but it doesn't have any added like added bad stuff it's just vanilla cocoa and cane sugar it's still a lot of sugar i like to use the cocoa powder from trader joe's that doesn't have sugar but if you want that sugar one this is actually not too bad previously in my channel i also reviewed this matcha powder it's organic everyday matcha 100 percent japanese green tea powder it's from Sancho naturals 20 dollars for 12 ounces the price is really good however this is even though it's organic it's not the best blend because it's a combination of first and second harvest. The first harvest is the best. So I did a review video, you can check it out. This one is not too bad, but it has a very strong bitter taste, which I think like good quality matcha should have a bitter taste, but it should also should have like a nice sweetness and umami flavor. However, this one, I can't really taste the umami or the sweetness, it's mainly the bitterness. Body Elmer is on sale again. The sale ends February 4th. I'm gonna get two or three of these. I love those. But if you drink this, don't drink too many each time. Just one a day because it has a lot of vitamins in there. It's high in vitamin vitamins and minerals. It also have coconut water in there. The thing is like, if you get this, make sure you get the light, which is no artificial sweetener, no sugar added. But don't over consume this because it does have like vitamins in there and you probably shouldn't drink too much vitamins in there. Wrap three cases of this, stock up. I only drink one a day. And sometimes I skip a day. The Poppy Variety Pack Probiotic Drink or Prebiotic Drink is still on sale. Five dollars off, fifteen dollars, and the deal ends February fourth. So we're gonna get one of those. For strawberry lemon, orange, and cherry lime. I love the orange flavor, and it has five grams of added sugar, which is fine. It's five grams of sugar or less. I don't drink it every day. I drink it sometimes if I have cravings for soda. I just drink one of this instead of sugary drinks. It also have a nutter flavor, which is dark pop grape and root beer. I don't like root beer. I've never tried dark pop. Have you tried it? Do you like it? What does it taste like? This one is also on sale. So I listened to a podcast that says Brazil nuts is supposed to be really good for you. It has really good essential fatty acids from the Amazon rainforest. So this one is actually really clean ingredients. It's just organic whole Brazil nuts. So this is actually a really good, really good item. Nine forty nine, so ten dollars less carbs and more fat, but it's good fat for you. My baby loves to eat this. So this is the Amara um baby melts yogurt melts it's not real yogurt it's coconut yogurt makes really good for my baby my baby is loving it 13.99 it's a little expensive I need to restock on this the japanese castella cake is back it's the baked sponge cake this one is super good because it the ingredients are super clean egg sugar flour glucose syrup rice syrup and that's it so this is clean ingredients but look how much sugar it has so just be careful each one of these have paper underneath. My husband actually ate the paper. $13.99, but it's really good ingredients. A little high on sugar, but if you're really craving for a cake, it's just good. Super fluffy, pretty sweet, nice and spongy. I bought this one once and it was so good. And now they have two flavors, the duet, strawberry and chocolate. So this is $9.99 waffle cones, but at the end, it has a little fillings at the very end. The ingredients are not bad at all. It has coconut oil instead of the bat oil in there. It has caramelized sugar syrup, not like any added bad stuff. So this is actually pretty good. If you want that sugary snack, this one is pretty clean ingredients. This is individually packed. It's like waffle cone with the end of ice cream where you have like the chocolate cone. This is what it looks like. Each cone is 70 calories. Yeah, it's pretty big. This is what it looks like in my hands. So we're going to take a bite. The strawberry kind of tastes like vanilla filling with a little bit of strawberry flavor dark chocolate if you love waffle cone ice cream and you love chocolate this is the one to go all right let's get brandon's <laughs> opinion so one of each but strawberry first i like the strawberry it kind of tastes like vanilla with a slight strawberry flavor it's not super strawberry -y, but it kind of tastes like vanilla filling don't like that strawberry doesn't taste good why it tastes like fake strawberry it doesn't taste real it tastes crap it's a fake strawberry it's not real strawberry yeah, I don't like it. it just tastes too processed not good it's so chocolate. Chocolate tastes way better. Way better? You like the chocolate? In the past, I bought the milk chocolate before, but this one is dark chocolate. I like this chocolate. I think the chocolate tastes real good. Real good? Yep. Chocolate, 8.5. Strawberry, 5. 
basically the strawberry is literally just white chocolate flavor with like strawberry flavoring she to me it tastes more of like white chocolate than strawberry but brandon just didn't like the strawberry flavor all right so there's a, this new gummy beer with tahine chili and lime first of all i do not recommend giving this to your children because the tahine tahine is not good for their stomach if you have little children for older adults that's fine but i still wouldn't eat it because look artificial coloring what no artificial flavors artificial coloring no this is horrible put it back put it back and it's super expensive $12.49 i would rather eat this is the good one i bought it last time i really like it, it has no added sugar it's so good this one is super healthy it only has four ingredients $10.99 and the ingredients are just apple pear strawberries and then like natural coloring from the juice so love that this one is really good in each pack you have a little car to play super good love that one there was a new snack the nature's bakery oatmeal crumble 24 bars 13.49 it's organic however i wouldn't be buying this because canola oil no that's so bad and look at this 10 grams of added sugar no protein this is just pure carbs and sugar and not the cleanest ingredients either and i wouldn't buy it. if i'm gonna eat a bar i want some protein and fat in there it's low fat which means that the sugar in this will be absorbed in your glucose like so 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 fast the kind bars variety pack is actually on sale the deal ends january 28th it's 550 off right now 1449 it's 15 dollars for 20 bars palm kernel oil what glucose syrup is okay at least it's not fructose syrup so i do not like the fact that they put palm kernel oil in there so not miss Ming approved so there's another candy item i don't know why there's so much candy items now they sell halloween these brownie filled and cookies and cream filled this one ingredients it at the first glance it wasn't too bad but then i realized it's natural and artificial flavor what why would it put artificial flavor 12 dollars. the vital protein is on sale again this collagen peptides protein nine dollars off the deal expires february 4th 23 dollars i'm gonna grab one of those also the oregon 30 grams protein shake fruity cereal flavor is on sale seven dollars and 50 cents off do expire february 4th hence it's not missing approved because it has high oleic sunflower oil it's not the best why would it put it in there i think it's just for the texture they do have monk fruit extract which is pretty good so as a sweetener stevia extract which is pretty good natural flavors the gel and gum is also not the best like overconsumption of this is not the best um the protein source comes from milk protein which is actually pretty high quality protein unless you're like um, allergic to dairy so this one has zero grams of added sugar so it's not the cleanest ingredients i probably wouldn't drink it every single day once in a while it's not bad okay from the organ this is the plant protein um 20 grams of protein per serving also um on sale six dollars off the deal expires february 18th so this one will last longer but this is actually not missing a purpose high oleic sunflower oil um not the worst though but it's also not the best the protein comes from pea protein which is not the highest quality of protein natural flavors actually this is the chocolate flavor so this one is the chocolate flavor but it also has like superfood blend from the plant which are pretty good like these superfoods are actually pretty good addition to the protein but the protein itself is also not very clean the neutrogena makeup remover is on sale five dollars off deal it expires february 4th right now 17 dollars. this is really good for traveling if you need a makeup remover the neutrogena shower gel is also on sale five dollars off right now 15 dollars expires february 4th oh this is one of my favorite moisturizer i just bought it yeah this is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel cream it's fragrance free this one is super hydrating has hyaluronic acid i usually use this moisturizer first and then follow up with a richer moisturizer so this is my first moisturizer in my two moisturizer two-step moisturizer routine it's ten dollars off right now 23 dollars that's a really good deal the cetaphil lotion and the cream are both on sale on sale five dollars and fifty cents off the same price the deal ends february 4th i like the lotion because the cream is a little bit too rich for me four dollars cheaper than a normal grocery store and i think there was a sale there too avino moisturizer is also on sale five dollars off 
um this one is 13.49 for two and i actually bought it last time i like it i use it as a hand cream and also as a body lotion it's um fragrance free um try to avoid fragrance if you have dry skin eczema or skin sensitivities especially in winter this cetaphil skin cleanser this is super gentle um it's also on sale 550 off right now 16.39 you expires February 4th. This one is a really good morning cleanse. All right, for washing dishes, we have this. This one is refill size. It actually works really, really well. And it's biodegradable cleaning ingredients, paraben acids free, free. And it says it's responsibly made. It does have fragrance to it. I wish it doesn't, but that's okay. So this one is 280 off right now, 599 deal ends February 4th. I like it, it works really well. It creates a lot of bubbles. So I'm gonna get one of those. The Chinese Willow Arrangement is back in ceramic. This is $20 for the Chinese New Year. It's not worth $20 to be honest. Go buy it for $10, but not for $20. This is actually not that great quality. It's pretty, but it's not worth the money. Squishmallow is back. So this one has, it looks like a reindeer almost. We also have the tie-dye. Ooh, so soft. And those are the big ones. Those are the huge squishmallows. And it has little fuzzy hair in the middle. For your kids, my kids love squishmallows. These are $28.99. Ooh, this Ninja Possible Cooker Pro is on sale. This is really good. $20 off by now $80 it's really good it's a pressure cooker slash slow cooker slash steamer new candle alert love that three-piece fresh soy candle which is non-toxic which is good so we have eucalyptus cherry blossom lavender it's super strong actually the eucalyptus like it's super sweet i probably won't buy it actually it's super 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 strong scent have you tried this in your costco do you like it it's 20 dollars. usually candles go on sale pro form bike is actually on sale a hundred dollars off 300 right now it's not a bad price not that i will buy it i probably won't but it's a pretty good price Alrighty, that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe and check out my other costco hauls and taste tests and food reviews bye subscribe and stay tuned Thank you.